It was my final year of high school and last season of cross country. I was just pronounced captain of the team. I was promoted to the highest position on the team in charge of leading 50 hardworking kids to compete at the top level. My task was to inspire the team and to push them to their limits. Leading the team into battle was an opportunity that I was granted and I did not take it lightly. Winning is not everything and if I achieve feedback that reflects my leadership qualities that motivate the team to do their best and race hard, then I will have done my job. We want to go to the state championship meet from the start of the season. Winning or placing in this meet would show our hard work had paid off. At the beginning of every practice and competition, I would communicate that I th what I thought everyone was capable of, always keeping a positive attitude no matter what our chances were of success. After each race or competition, I would give the team an overview of their performance, communicating who had the best race and the biggest improvement. By the end of the team season, I could see achievements on and off the course. More than half the team improved their times by the end of the season. Also, I noticed a shift in the team attitude that communicated positivity and hunger, hunger for one another's success. As the season approaches end, my coach gave me feedback in writing. He sent out a survey to the entire team, and the results were astounding. They said I did a fa fantastic job pushing them to their limits while holding a respective boundary between holding power and using it to benefit the team, not myself. At the state championship, we finally had achieved placing seventh. The team's response and brotherhood was more powerful than the final placement. 